Okay, so it's likely that um, if you're not too advanced with CAD and and uh, you've come across a problem where it says that um, AutoCAD can't perform some function because your lines are non-coplanar, um, meaning they're not in the same plane, um, but you don't know what that means. Maybe you, especially you don't know what this means if you don't work in 3D, if you don't have much experience with 3D. Um, so this will prevent things like um, doing an intersection snap, uh, doing a fillet command, things of that nature. What does that mean? Well, sometimes in AutoCAD, things will happen where your lines get pushed into the Z-axis. So if we orbit and just do, uh, if you want to do a quick orbit, hold shift, assuming your model's not too big, hold shift and, cl and then hold down your middle mouse button, your mouse wheel, and then you can orbit around. And let's say you have two lines. And normally when you draw lines, everything looks like this. And everything should be drawn uh, at whatever the elevation is of your z-axis, which by default is zero. So everything should be drawn. When you draw top-down view, everything is drawn at elevation zero. Okay. But sometimes, somewhere along the way, maybe because somebody else is on the drawing or something happened, things will get pushed into the z-axis. Now the thing is, when things get pushed into the z-axis, you won't notice that. What you'll see is this. And in fact, what a lot of times what happens is you'll even see like um, in the z-axis, um, one line will get angled like that. This stuff does happen, but what, what you see is just this. Um, this can be deceiving because especially when you do like a uh, distance command, the distance of this line says the delta x, which is just my x direction, is one foot one, but the total distance is one foot three. That's that. Sh it shouldn't be like that. That delta x should match your total distance, just like this. So, let's say you try to uh, do a uh, a line here, and it won't at the intersection, and it won't give you that snap. You'll notice it gives it to me here, but it won't give it to me here again. That's because these two lines are in the same plane and these two are not. I also will not be able to fill it. I can fill it between these two. I cannot fill it between these two because I get the error lines are non-coplanar. So if you get this error, <clears throat> that's basically what that means. How do you fix that? Well, there's a couple ways, um, but rather than having to go manually drag things down and move things down, the easiest way to do this is to grab all of your lines and you may have more objects let's say you have some circles okay let's say you have some arcs and let's say you have uh, some single line text let's put this at uh, quarter inch test and let's make that a little bit bigger we can't can't really see that let's put that at one inch all right let's say you got some some text here now, I'm going to put these all at different elevations, just create just chaos, which it's probably not going to be like this. But just for the sake of argument, let's do this. So just complete chaos in your drawing. You got stuff all over the place. How do you get the stuff back to all be in the same plane and in line with each other? Select all of your objects. Go to your properties window. You're going to see the selection says all. We're going to filter by types here. It tells you how many of each object there are. Four circle, four lines, two circles, two text, two arcs. So go through each one of these objects. We're going to go to the line first. And what we're going to do is adjust the Z, the Z co uh, axis coordinate. <clears throat> so let's go to our lines. Now it has the start and stop point, our start and end points for these lines. We want to adjust the start and end point for the Z axis only. Okay, so we're going to set this to zero. Actually, I'm going to do this in 3D so you can see what's happening in real time, okay? So, select all of our objects, and then we're going to hit line, and then we're going to change this to zero, okay? And then we're going to change this to zero. And there we are. Now our lines are back at our zero axis by adjusting the zero coordinate for the start and end point. Same thing with our circles. We're, the center of the circle is the only real coordinate that we're concerned about, and we're going to change that center Z to zero. Now our circles get lined up to this to the uh, zero coordinate on the Z axis. 
We do the same thing with our text, our, L of our, our, our position for under geometry. You'll see position Z, change it to, to zero. And then our arcs, um, center Z, change it to zero. So with any object, um, P lines are no different. Um, if I have this moved up, it's just it'll look a little bit different. Uh, for polyline, you'll see uh, elevation. Just change that elevation to zero. So any of your objects, most of them will say something about the z-axis. Just set that z to zero. Uh, polylines are a little bit different because they don't say z. What they say is elevation. Just set, set that elevation at zero. Doing this, I can now intersect where I need to. I can fill it where I need to. And that should fix your uh, coplanar issue that you see um, whenever you try to do certain functions and they're, they're not lined up. Hope that helps.